line, Dr. Bob Flowers. I'm just going to read a little thing about him. But Dr. Flowers is now an achievement um, expert. There are some things that he will talk to you tonight. There may be one little piece of, will come to you that you will help your game or your, or your attitude or whatever it may be. So these are the things that we want to try to continue to help you in some way, shape, or form because you never know when it will be uh, important to you. Dr. Robert uh, J. Flowers is CEO of a family owned and operated multi-million investment and finance company. He has been written up in the Wall Street <coughs> Journal, New York Times Magazine, and many others, and many others. Okay, good night. So, Bob, thank you very much for coming. I really do appreciate it. If you can't hear me, just let me know and I'll, uh, I'll yell. How's everybody doing? Good. 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 We'll fix that. Uh, okay, let me give you a little background about what I did and how I came to uh, to be an achievement coach and achievement mentor. Uh, I, I was pretty much a uh, an athlete, like like all of you. As a matter of fact, it was just a few moments ago that I was there listening to somebody up here. And some of the things you're going to learn tonight are about life, not only about sports, not only about baseball or lacrosse or hockey or whatever. And I hope, if nothing else, tonight, you walk out of here with one concept in mind, one thing that has taken me a lifetime to learn and many experiences, and I'll talk to you about some of these experiences I had in my learning process of this, this uh, science that I, I discovered. Natural intelligence is something that's individualistic. You all have your levels, you all have your, your weak intelligences and your, uh, and your strong intelligences, okay? So for me or anybody, any sort of mentor to get up and say, here's one thing and that's, that's the pill. That's going to do it. You're going to be great hitters or great basketball players. Okay? Uh, is not the case. There may be things here and there that, that work. But the thing is, it's very individualistic. And what we do, as you'll see in one of the, uh, one of the handouts, is um, we do analyses of people. The one that I have here, and I think it's on page uh, let's see. It's the, uh, blue, the blue paper. Is actually a, a worksheet of a, a professional golfer that I'm working with right now. And the two, well, he has four areas that, that we're working on. And so far, we've worked on two. Uh, the first one is uh, zone, being in the zone. And the second is choking. Okay? And what we've done is I've gone through um, all of his intelligences, which are the natural ones <coughs> on, on the left column. And then we've d developed notions of how he should handle his situations. Like, for instance, if he's looking to get into a zone, he's trying to generate something that's natural. And that's, that's one of the reasons why we call it natural intelligence, because when you get to a certain level with this stuff, uh, you, you're not trying to uh, you, you're letting things happen. You're not trying to make things happen. When you try and make things happen, a lot of times, uh, that's when you have trouble, especially in sports, okay? And, and in business. Uh, so what you want to do is get to where you're able to handle stuff inside yourself, okay? You are the master. Now, you're, you're all great young kids in here. You, You've accomplished, you're also a great, great cross record. You guys won the, the uh, division last year. Congratulations. I can tell you're dedicated. I can tell you're motivated. Passion is actually part of one of your intelligences, how passionate you are, uh, how dedicated you are to what you're doing. And just being here tonight is, is, is an uh, exemplary of, 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 of your passion. And that's very important. That's very important. And it's part of the leadership. It's part of team play. 
getting the other guy up, getting the team up. And sometimes it only takes one person, one person on the team to get that whole team fired up and turn a game around or turn the season around. Okay? And you see that what you see on television all the time, you know, a spark, a hit, sparks off a rally. Okay. That's that's the spirit part. That's the zone part. That's that's getting things going where everybody rises to that level. And that's what I try to do with these, with these programs is sit down with the individuals or groups. We, we, we work with groups as well because groups have a personality that's that's different than the individuals. Okay. Uh, and see where it is they can be uh, assisted, where their weaknesses are, where their strengths are, and work on both. Okay, and uh, with this particular person, the other the other issue he was having uh, was he choked a lot. He got he was the guy's a very good golfer, and he's got great skills. But <laughs> when it comes to that that final hole or final two holes, he blows it. He'll show you the way if you let it, if you trust it, and that's the whole thing with this. It's a matter of trust. When I first discovered this and it began to evolve, and believe me, it took me a long time for this to evolve. I talked to a lot of different scientists. I went through a lot with this whole thing. My wife can tell you, I was in, I, I was all over the world, and you know, I had a business, I had young kids, three young kids, I had a wife, but this was this was a mission. This was purpose. This this was something that I I, this, I knew inside of me was was critical. I mean, I. I I was in two revolutions. I, I fought my way out of Peru and Bolivia. I, I was in the attack on Haifa Harbor. I got caught right in the middle of that. And in Damascus. I mean, you know, I've, I've been through a lot of physical things, a lot of danger, a lot of experiences in my life. But it was something that I trusted. I, I knew that if I took the next step, even though I didn't know what was going to happen, and that has a lot to do with stress and fear batting or pitching or, or, or on, on the field hockey. Not necessarily knowing what's going to happen, but dealing with it and trusting it. Trusting yourself. And you'll get to that point. You will. If you pursue this type of path, this type of program, you will. You'll, you'll be so strong in yourself, you, you know, you'll be able to accomplish many things and, and have a, a a lot of good years, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of happiness. And, you know, uh, my wife will tell you, you know, things have not always been good in our lives, um, in all, in all respects. But you know what? Now, it's terrific. It's terrific. You know? And I hope that years ago I would have come in here and said, I want every one of these people to get this. But now, just the messenger. I've got some cards if you want, you know, we can help you out, just pass them down. And it's not an overnight fix. Yeah. It's something you need to live. If you don't live it, you don't get the benefit of it. We have some food for the baseball team. We have an eat outside and the ladies for an evening. You can have a slice too. I'm, I, you know, I can go on right now, but a daughter is trying to play professional golf. And all the stress and emotions and the physical capabilities that takes to get ready and the expenses that go along with it. So you need a lot of support. You've gotten a lot of support from the college. You've got a lot of support from your the faculty and staff. You've got a lot of support from your family and friends. So let's continue to have a great year and, uh, you know, continue to work on the teamwork and continue to actually, you know, uh, be good sportsmen that's, uh, out there on the field and let's see what happens the rest of the season. Okay? Thanks again for everybody tonight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh